close to Pi University students and families share reactions to racial, anti-Semitic, anti-Muslim and homophobic slurs found near and on campus, which led to a protest during actress Jenna Fisher's April 17 lecture at the Green Center for Performing Arts. Jenna Watson, Indies racial, homophobic and religious slurs left at Dubai University have some students rising up in protest. Those students first grabbed attention Monday night, when they held a demonstration that interrupted a free public talk on campus by actress Jenna Fisher, who had starred in The Office, what the students want to buy protesters give list of demands to administrator share gift, Jenna Fisher donates to buy university pay after student protests in Tuesday, about two dozen students from the university's Association of African American Students, who were carrying signs and chanting, we are not safe, interrupted a news conference led by President Mark McCoy. They have since presented university officials with a list of eight demands, one of which included providing a house, a safe space, for the Association of African American Students and Students of Color. Here's what we know. What actually happened? Eight racist messages were left in campus restrooms and at the DePa Nature Park. Mark McCoy became the president of DePa University in March 2016, photo, provided by Larry Liggett, DePa spokesman Ken Owen said the first incident occurred April 11, when a racist threat was found in a men's bathroom stall at the Inn at DePa and Event Center. Photos of the message, written in black marker, were circulated later that night through social media. McCoy described four separate incidents that the university is investigating, the racist threat in a restroom at the Inn at DePa. A homophobic and an anti-Semitic message also found in a restroom. An incident of a student engaging in offensive behavior at the restaurant and event center called the Fluttering Duck. The N-word, formed by rocks in the nature park. McCoy asked anyone with more information about the incidents, or other incidents, to contact university officials at incident at depa.edu. What Depa University is doing about it? McCoy addressed the students' concerns in an open letter released Monday about what he said were unacceptable incidents on the Green Castle, Hind campus. I want to state categorically that slurs, threats or intimidation are never welcome on this campus, McCoy said in an open letter. We will be taking a host of actions and you will hear additional comments from me in the coming days, McCoy said Depa Public Safety Person personnel are investigating each of the incidents and also are seeking help from the Greencastle Police Department, Putnam County Sheriff's Office and the Indiana State Police, since most of the incidents occurred in public spaces. In an updated open letter on April 18, McCoy said the FBI also has been asked to investigate the incidents because they targeted students of color, Jewish students, Muslim students, Chinese students and LGBTQ students. Anyone who provides information leading to an arrest of individuals involved in the threats could receive a reward of $5,000, McCoy also said DePa officials are increasing foot patrols of public safety officers, this behavior is threatening and intimidating and cannot be tolerated, McCoy said. McCoy also said the school is hiring an additional counselor and will make changes, beginning in the 2018-2019 academic year, that include, measurable improvement in the school's diversity and inclusion plan as well as a dedicated day of mandatory training for faculty, campus leaders, student and administrative, DePa officials held a meeting Wednesday with faculty, staff and student campus leaders. Students who need support, or a place to gather were told that, they can go to the Hartman House, Center for Diversity and Inclusion, or the Women's Center on campus, McCoy also said the campus will immediately designate the Sigma Alpha Epsilon House as a safe place for the Association of African American Students until the end of the school term, while a more permanent solution is sought. The university president also promised to keep the lines of communication open, you will continue to hear from me, McCoy said. Our society has major challenges before us and we must do in all in our power to be certain that this campus, our home, is inclusive, welcoming, and safe. What was Jenna Fisher's role? Actor Jenna Fisher reacts to protesters at an event at Dubai University, where she was promoting her book, The Actor's Life, A Survival Guide, photo, photo submitted by Shannon Sampson. The protests weren't about Fisher, who was on campus to meet with theater students, do a question and answer session and a book signing protests just occurred during her talk, which was bound to get media attention because of her name recognition. Fishers reached out on social media on Monday night to express that she was shocked and upset to hear what was happening on their campus. I could feel the pain, sadness and fear coming from these students, she said. Fisher said she will donate what the university paid her for her appearance to three organizations in the students' names, the NAACP, the Anti-Defamation League and the Trevor Project. Pick.twitter.com slash Ockjaff 5v7x, Jenna Fisher, at Jenna Fisher, April 18, 2018 How do you know Jenna Fisher? Jenna Fisher is shown with the rest of the cast from, The Office, from left, BJ. 
Novak, John Krasinski, Rain Wilson and Steve Carell. Photo, provided by NBC, Fisher, a native of Fort Wayne, Indiana, was best known for her portrayal of administrative assistant Pam Beasley on the long-running NBC sitcom, The Office. She has also appeared in comic films such as, Blades of Glory, Hall Pass, and appeared as Rhonda McNeil in the NBC's comedy drama, series, You, Me and the Apocalypse. Fisher also published her first book in 2017 titled, The Actor's Life, A Survival Guide. It includes an introduction by Steve Carell, her co-star on The Office. Close-in footage provided by Shannon Sampson, a protester can be heard calling out, stop excusing this problematic behavior. Call and star digital producer Dwight Adams at 317-444-6532. Follow him on Twitter, at HeadWhiteAdams. Other stories of interest. Unfair housing, significant housing discrimination found in Marion County. Study says bad timing. Final Indiana GOP Senate debate faces conflict. Romeo Langford's choice of college reader share the story. https colon slash slash indie dot st slash 2f21 loc.